cardiorespiratory fitness is extremely important. Any of you who have had the misfortune of being in the hospital for some kind of a heart surgery, you know when they come back in right after surgery to check on you, they don't come in and hand you a pair of dumbbells. They come in and they get you up and they say, we're going for a walk. Right there, that's your ticket to what's the most important thing. It's walking, respiration, circulation. They want to get you moving. And so that's a great note for all of us to take. You know, the most important muscle you've got in that body in the first place is the heart. So you want to make sure that that's getting what it needs so the rest can look good. The ticket there is fatiguing at 10, not stopping at 10. Are we clear on that? That's important. Stopping, fatiguing at 10, making sure the weight is heavy enough that you can't do many more than 10 repetitions. Don't just choose a light weight and stop because you're at 10. Make sense? None of us are completely symmetrical. We have one side that is stronger than the other. And sometimes it's because of injury. Sometimes it's just because you are right dominant. And oftentimes that means you are right dominant all the way down. The hand, the leg. Sometimes it works opposite. The body does amazing things to find its own balance. So you may be right hand dominant, but left leg dominant. And there is no right or wrong. It's just Becoming aware of that is really important to your health and making sure that you're avoiding risks going forward. Flexibility or mobility. So I'd like my mother to do stretching and flexibility exercises. Every day she drinks coffee. She would be a very flexible woman. On this age and activity continuum, we sell ourselves short we let ourselves off the hook and believe that because we're aging, we can't do more. And I, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you, not because of bragging rights, but I'm gonna tell you where I was and who I've talked to. In the last two years, I've done an Ironman, each of those two years. The dinner before the Ironman starts, they have people stand and say, raise your hand or stand if you have completed five Ironman. And they continue to do that. Stay standing if you've done 10. And slowly people are sitting down, but they went all the way to 76. And the people standing are 76 and 80. They're still doing them. They're still crossing the finish line. Some of them before me for sure. And so it's what you believe you can do and what your body will allow you to do, but be willing to search that out and open to ideas that there are more possibilities than you might have considered because it's what you knew to be possible in the past. Making sure that you're having breakfast, starting with that and eating well throughout the day. Those people who did and took in the same number of calories as others who didn't have breakfast and maybe who had just one or two meals a day lost more weight in the end, according to a study in obesity just in February of 2013. So eating throughout the day and starting with breakfast is ultra important. Timing exercise and nutrition and eating right after if not before and after exercise, will also help your maintenance of lean muscle mass.